Sometimes you just want to go on vacation. And sometimes uh, you're trying to find new ways of doing it. Sometimes a doctor's note just won't do it. So uh, this final departure for vacation came from an art teacher in Michigan, David, um, <laughs> where she made false threats of terrorism in order to get out of work or just get the hell out of them. Maybe get away from these kids and their mask wearing and their COVID. Um, so let's jump right into this, you guys. Uh, from the insider, Joanna Roan is an art teacher at Jefferson Middle School in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. And she was charged with making a false report. Jesus, uh, on a threat of terrorism, and she was arraigned on Monday. Uh, this is her mugshot there. If you guys uh, want to see it there, there's our art teacher and from St. She's so Clair. happy looking. Man, happy. Oh, this vacation is not going well. So uh, the three handwritten notes by Roan were found under the doors of a classroom, uh, the library, and the media center at the school. Surveillance cameras at the school caught the footage. Uh, one of the notes read, start break early, he's going to do it. Just don't be in the hall after lunch. Boom, get it? Um, so there's that, and then they found these notes in, I guess, an anonymous type of. Uh, I guess the the feeling she was going for was an anonymous, uh, um, scary undertone type of message that this person is looking to do some things. So uh, as I mentioned before, she's a creative arts teacher, and she's been at this school for 21 years. So something cracked in this last moment thou that she wanted vacation early in 21 years every other time it wasn't really going to happen so the superintendent um, he also released Carl Paulson released a statement to families about the situation while we cannot divulge more details because this issue is an ongoing police and internal investigation the administration has placed a staff member on administrative leave and that same staff member was arrested by St. Clair Shores police shortly after noon today this alleged behavior is unacceptable um, I hope you don't have to leave early, Dave, from the show because I don't want you. Putting well, I, you know, I was just looking at my little map, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I was about to make some joke about all oh, St. Clair. It must be, you know, up Upper Peninsula, far away from Southeast Michigan, far away from Ann Arbor. Yeah, it's actually just north of Detroit, so it's yeah. probably within about you know 45 minutes uh, of Ann Arbor. So, okay, well, look, she's had a really tough year. Uh, she's she's had a lot of problems. Uh, there were no kids, I guess, at St. Clair who were willing to sort of just pull the fire alarm, which is what kids were supposed to do when you want to get rid of that exam. You just pull the fire alarm. You don't actually make a terroristic threat. So you don't sort of go through this whole scheme of suggesting there's going to be a mass shooting. Um, so this is weird. I mean, like as you point out, the pulling the fire alarm is the thing that was the thing. Or you fake, you put the thermometer over the heater and stick it in your mouth so your mom let you stay home. This is a good wholesome old people like us type of moves that you're supposed to pull. Not actually putting in, like you going through the process and the trouble of writing out notes with this weird cryptic style, sliding out three different doors to make sure people find it so you can leave early. Hey man, I'm sure there's other things you could have done. I mean, maybe just say, hey you guys, I'm sick. Hey, I got it, like who's gonna ask? Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they have a strict policy here at this school. But who's going to ask the art teacher if she's really telling the truth when she's like, "I'm just not feeling well. I got it. I need these last two days off." Exactly. So much simpler to say, you know, <coughs> "Oh, I've got a fever. It's time for me to quarantine for ten days or whatever." You know what I mean? If you're gonna if you're gonna make something up, you know, make it about yourself, and then you can get excused. And worst case scenario, you pretend to have COVID. Then okay, everybody in your class has to quarantine. You know, the school quarantines, whatever it is. Um, but you know, you, you get in really dangerous and frightening areas. I mean, given the number of mass shootings that we do have, yeah. and the fact that law enforcement they do have to take everyone seriously. They have to take every threat very seriously because you never know. Um, and that's where, you know, I just think this is such a troubled woman. And what made her troubled? I don't know. Maybe she had some terrible students this year. Maybe she just went bonkers. Um, hopefully, in St. Clair, Michigan, they have some mental health resources that um, can be of assistance to her before they throw her in jail. David, the lib in me, you just triggered it because I was thinking this whole time it's a bit of a, a um, you know, not dunking on her story, but like a what's wrong with her story and how come she couldn't take a different approach. But what happened to her? That's a very good question. What happened this year to her after 21 years? That's a change that happened that it makes her feel she has to pull this off, and without it just being a subtle, simple, I'm sick, hey, I can't do this today type of thing. Instead, it's a bomb threat. It's three different notes. The escalation, I feel like we watch too many movies or something. Maybe it's the advent of the of social media and how people are one up in each other and you have to really go over the top or people don't believe you. I don't know. I don't know, but she doesn't seem like she's influenced by TikTok. So I don't know what got her to this point. But yeah, we need to evaluate what's wrong and maybe fix it before another teacher is like, I can't take this anymore either. 
And it may be that, I mean, I know a lot of art teachers and music teachers who have seen their budgets cut over the last year because, you know, everyone has to, you know, worry about the budgets and be more money for resource officers and less money in communities and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, art classes are the first to go. Um, possible that, you know, she saw her art budget being cut or wasn't getting the resources she wanted. Something clearly, I think, uh, triggered her and, and wise for everybody in the community to say, okay, yes. She shouldn't have done this, but what was sort of the underlying, you know, what was the event that that caused this? Are there things about the community? Are there things about art teachers and music teachers that we need to pay a little more attention to in St. Clair Shores, Michigan? Oh, hopefully this all uh, turns uh, the other way. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.